Welcome to Trinity Theological Seminary, one of the best in Africa and in West Africa, established in 1942. My name is Abraham Kwati, and I'm so happy to welcome you to Trinity Seminary. I'll be taking you around Trinity in a few minutes so you'll see what pertains. This side is Lincoln, the University of Ghana, which is about this is the University of Ghana, and this side is Trinity. Herzlich willkommen Freud, ich kann meine Seminary vorstellen, einer der besten Seminary in West Africa und in Afrika. Hier ist Trinity Theological Seminary, war gegründet in 1942 und Freud mit Nacht, du kannst meine Seminary sehen. Herzlich willkommen, Aquaba. There are a lot of trees here, environmentally friendly campus. We have a lot, 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 lot of trees. You can see all trees, they respect the environment so much. They don't just cut trees here. They follow all the protocols and taking good care of this. Tree. Some are over 40 years, some are 50 years, and some are really, really old. They are virgin trees. Even in the construction of this place, they never cut some of these trees down, and they have been like this since it's published. Here is the site, here's the directions. So to our left, we have the Williamson's Library, and we have the Academic Registry, President's Office, Hall of Residence, all to our left, and the very famous center, the Talita Kum Center, where we have the Institute for Mandatory Biblica Hermeneutics also to our right. Please, let's go, and let's come along. So we are now going to our academic block and that is where most of our lectures take place. We have state-of-the-art lecture halls fitted with the best. Let us go along at this time. So we have the sign. Trinity Theological Assembly, that is our logo, and I know you all know that. In hoc signo vince, meaning this sign we conquer. He is in constant, and for the constant times, session. Constant had this session, Kai Ro, und das bedeutet, es geht fort in the name von God. I go in the name of God, and in this sign I conquer. So that had been our symbol, we've conquered in the name of Christ, and the cross leads us in Trinity. So all that is basically what is our motto we conquer the world we conquer the issues the challenges contemporary issues with the cross we find meaning with the cross in our contemporary theological discourse and all the challenges that we face like i said earlier we see trees all over we follow a green and a green revolution kind of so all around us we have trees and we are good with the environment and we can say very good at this particular tree has been here since the establishment of the seminary. So here is our cafeteria under construction and then all the students when it's finished will come here, take our breakfast lunch and supper here. Most of the students here are residential, the regular students live here and so our cafeteria is being modernized to the state of the art and once again the tree I talked about here since the beginning of the seminary and we have labeled it the common name is the back cloth tree and in in the in, in tree it is the chen chen and its botanical name is the antiaris africana that we can see so this is um, the Hall of Residence, and it's mainly male students who are here. And it's called Galevo Hall. And so we have three Hall of Residence for male students and one for 
one for uh, ladies that is down there. So we're starting with the Hall of Wrestling. And the first is Gallivo Hall. Approximately about 50 or more students are here. And they take residence here. It's currently under renovation. Trying to paint, trying to put it in order. Also, Odija Hall, named after a Presbyterian minister. The first hall, Galibo, was is named after an EP, Evangelical Presby. This is Presbyterian Church of Ghana minister, and it's Odija Hall. It's also a male resident, typical of most theological schools and studies. Most of the people here are male, and we are hoping to increase the number of female students, and we are doing just that. Here is the last of the male halls, it's Grant and it's named after a Methodist minister. I personally was in this hall when I was in Trinity here. So this is a very special hall to me, Grant Hall and that is it, male hall also, Grant Hall. And students, it's an, all the halls are ecumenical, students from all churches, there's a mixture. The rule is that two students from the same denomination, the denomination must not be in the same room. So if you are Methodist, one, the other must be Presby. If you are Presbyterian, the other must be Anglican. There must be other, so we can learn from one another and share from one another. So here is the Noble Grand Hall. So in African Christianity, what is so important is the dimension of prayer and prayer is not so silent or quiet. So in Trinity, we have a place we call it the prayer ground. We are going there. It's a little in the bush. It's a little isolated from the horse. And there's a path to the prayer ground. I hope when we go there, we may meet people praying and praying and praying. So this is our route to the prayer court. In the mornings, it's very cold. In the evenings, it's very cool and relaxed. Yeah, I think you can hear people already praying. Please take notes of the mode of prayer. Take notes. I hope you can hear. Yeah. Yeah, as I have been saying, environmentally Trinity is very, very, very concerned. We have a lot of trees here. This tree is very old tree and we preserve our trees. We don't just cut our trees. We preserve and preserve the environment to the highest of standards. So as you can see, there are trees all over. It's a very serene environment. Great. This is a ladies hall. Miguel Bayata Chiga Hall, where we have ladies in our seminary who are resident here. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
there are two chapels in Trinity. This bigger one, we call it the Trinity United Church. Very soon we'll see it. And then we have the student chapel, that is a smaller one which we are heading towards. The Trinity United Church is a church for the community. Everybody who live around here, irrespective of your church, irrespective of your confession, whether a Presbyterian, whether a Methodist, whether an Anglican, I think except Catholics who do not come, we have people from all denominations and confessions. That is the standards of Trinity. We are an ecumenical institution. So this is a church for the community. And I'm here, it sits getting to about 2,000 to 3,000 people. And we use this place also for our graduations, our matriculations, and all our major programs of the seminary. It's an affiliation with the seminary, and that is it. Trinity United Church, Lagos, also located. And Trinity Chapel is at the center see, of the seminary. The center is the chapel. Everything revolves around the chapel. And it's strategically located from the main entrance that we had come through. You come straight and you come to the chapel. From any dimension that you come to, the center is the chapel. Because of the importance of worship. Everything we do, the church, church service at the center and at the heart of it. Sometimes have our occasions and ceremonies and the old administration blog that we use and they still use as some of their offices, finance office, administration and other offices are also located here. And we have our master's class at the top. The masters have their lectures at the top of this building. The master of theology meet here and then doctor of ministry classes are also here. The academic blog that we saw earlier, that is where we have the Certificate in Ministry, Bachelor of Theology, Master of Divinity, Master of Art in Ministry, they have their classes there. that sells Christian literature and especially located here Christian literature for not just seminarians or people who school here but for the community also very important place that we buy all books we can order all the books from so thank you so much once again here is the Talita Kup Center Institute of Women in Religion and Culture a very prominent institution of the Trinity Theological Seminary headed by Professor Mercy Amba Odiuye and until recently she was at her office here. Professor Musa Dube and all the great feminist theologians, all the great theologians from African who are women have visited the center and this is a proud institution of Trinity Theological Seminary. Here is the Center for Mother Tongue Biblical Hermeneutics, my center. Here we engage the Bible in the post-colonial context. We engage the Bible and look at the vernacular translations. We try to bring the Bible and make it relevant to the ordinary people. So this is a center headed by the very Reverend Professor JDK Ekem, who chairs and sits on the center and sits on the, the stool or the chair of Ansre, 
and Dixon, which is located in the center for Mother Tongue Vivica MNU 6. Thank you once again for the tour of Trinity and we'll end here. We hope to see you soon in Trinity. We hope you visit us soon so we can share, learn,